I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT non-calculator section. College Board is asking us to solve a system of equations, and we've got several options. Since they're asking for the value of x, probably the easiest way is to solve this first equation for y. I have 4x plus y equals 7, subtracting 4x from both sides. I get y equals negative 4x plus 7. And then I have 2x minus 7y equals 1. If I substitute this expression in for y here, I get 2x minus 7 times y is 7 times the quantity, negative 4x plus 7 equals 1. So that's 2x, negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28x and distributing the negative 7 to the positive 7 inside the parentheses. 7 times 7 is 49. And make sure you bring the negative, so that's negative 49 equals 1. 2x plus 28x is 30x. Add 49 to both sides. 30x equals 50. Dividing both sides by 30 x equals 50 over 30, which is 5 over 3. We can also write that as a decimal as 1.66, or since it's 1.666, we can round it to 1.67, but I would input 5 thirds. Alternatively, we can solve by a linear combination, if I take 7 times the first row and add that to the second row, I'll have 7y plus negative 7y gives me 0y. This, in fact, is the same arithmetic, but it's a different way of looking at it. I'm adding a multiple of one equation to the other. So 7 times the first equation is 7 times 4x is 28x, plus 7 times 1y is 7y, equals 7 times 7 is 49. And I'm adding that to 2x minus 7y equals 1. When I add 28x plus 2x is 30x. 7y minus 7y is 0y. And 49 plus 1 is 50. And that takes me to the same place I was there. There are often multiple ways of solving College Board questions, particularly systems of equations. Make sure you're very good with systems of equations because College Board will ask this repeatedly on your SAT. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.